power. First of all, the power to make a change, to make a contribution. If you are a political party, you put in a president with a manifesto to implement an agenda for change or for improvement or for transformation. That's one aspect of power. You look for power for the legacy aspect of it. But there's also power that brings glory, mm -hmm. the glory aspect of it. So we keep lost with this, between these two. Mm -hmm. And my suggestion is let's buy the bullet. Let's accept that the presidents of this country from Joma Kenyatta have never had time for government. They have never run government. They have a, spent all their time on the functions of state. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying let's separate these two and give one man the power to enjoy the glory. You see the glory of being president, mm -hmm. an imperial president, actually more powerful. Because when you go for this office, you're also looking for glory. If you want to be the president of America, you want to be in that Air Force One. You see the glory of Air Force One? Yeah. When he's landing with those ugly looking helicopters. <laughs> you see it? With the beast down there waiting for yes, you. Yes. And remember, wherever that, wherever Air Force One lands, that is American territory. Mm -hmm. We saw it in America, in Kenya here, yeah. when, when Obama landed. Even senior police officers cannot be allowed near. You know, that kind of power and glory. Mm. So let's give one man or one woman that power and the glory. You get it? Mm -hmm. But let's also give another man or woman the power to run government. And the president has nothing to do with him mm -hmm. or her. And the president cannot dismiss him or her. So the president is just a nominal head of the, 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 of the country in terms of power dynamics, mm. just like the king of England today. Mm -hmm. He does not interfere with the running of, of government. You get it? But he has all the glory of being king. Mm -hmm. So let's give one man in this country that glory, mm -hmm. but give another man or woman the power to run government. If we don't make that distinction, I have been asking people, I wish I went to make the presentation. When is the last time you had a president who was in Harambe house working for Kenyans? When is the last time? You know, when, you, when the president is there, you would know. Because there's always the presidential standard on, on, on the roof. How many times have you seen that presidential standard? The president is busy receiving people, people dancing for him. But he's, uh, he's elected such. maybe to actually yeah. work from the state house. Pardon? Yeah, he's elected to work from the state, state house. house. You can't work because that's where, where all these things take place. People coming to pay homage, loyalty, and so, so, so on and so forth. That's state house is a place where functions of state take place not functions of government. And when the president is moving around the country, mm -hmm. including all the villages and launching projects and everything, that's the power of being president. Mm -hmm. So let's give it to him, but let's look for another person to run government. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, let's hear from our professor Ogola as well. Good morning. Good morning. You, you, did you have an, an, an opportunity to be before the NDC? Had you also um, made an application or yeah, an yes. appointment to be there? I made an application, I submitted my memorandum, but uh, just like everything that happens in this country, there is no criteria for anything. Uh, there was no criteria to choose which memorandum was supposed to be accepted, the finance or bill, 